I didn't see you there. Welcome, come ha have a seat. If you're watching this, Harlan probably needed a break. And that means an unedited We Make Shit. That's right, tonight we're gonna be making steak, ribeye. I'm gonna show you how to do it. We're also gonna be making some honey roasted carrots, maybe. And also some green beans. So come in, have a seat, relax, grab a beer. Here, let me let me open this for you. Nice hiss. There you are. I'm gonna grab myself one too. How's everybody enjoying the stream? You liking it? Is Harlan being entertaining? I hope so. I'm drinking a uh, Rickards Red for no other reason than it says red, which is my character in Dice Shame, if you've seen that. Cheers. I don't know if you're gonna be the silent cameraman. You'll decide now. No, no I'm gonna say stuff. Really <laughs> <laughs> ah, nice hiss. Nice hiss. Cheers. Well, there's a little bit of, uh, you know, what goes on. Eh, 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 eh. Uh, this is the night before Extra Life. It starts tonight at midnight in T minus seven hours and 13 minutes, maybe? Is that the right time? I don't really know. That's the right time. That's the right-ish time. And uh, we thought, let's film a little bit of uh, our dinner prep so you can see what goes on behind the scenes. I have taken these steaks out of the fridge. I have salted both sides and they're resting to get up to room temperature. Why is that, Harlan? Why do we do that? You never cook with cold meat. If you cook with cold meat, you're- You're a fucking piss baby. Deet. Piss baby? Henry's a pissed baby. If you cook with cold meat, you're gonna have a bad time because it's not gonna cook properly. You're gonna have big gray spots. The best, like when you cut into a piece of meat, psst, the best way that it could look is just a tiny, tiny bit gray on the outside and then all of that medium rare salivating a little bit in the middle. You want as little gray as possible. Now these are gonna end up being a little gray because I am not going to reverse sear them. Uh, there, there's, there are a few methods that you can cook steak at. Obviously, outside, blah, 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 blah. Using a cast just iron by, skillet. Just by putting it outside. Just by putting it outside and letting the sun do its thing. <laughs> In a cast iron skillet, the best way to cook meat is by reverse searing it. And that's by cooking it very, very, very low and slow in the oven for like 15, 20 minutes at like 200 degrees to cook it perfectly medium rare, and then searing it on the outside just until you develop a crust. It's the best way to cook steak. However, I don't like it that much. So we're just going to cast iron and cook these. Really? Which means, you don't like it that much? Well, that's really important if you don't let your meat rest, if you don't let it come up to room temperature. But it's also laborious, you have to wait an extra 20 minutes, and I just like searing them. I think they're perfectly fine. If you're a really thick steak, yeah, it's important. But with steaks like these, ribeyes, it's fine. We're gonna have a good time, it's gonna be fun. All right, so what did we say we're making with these? We're making some honeyed carrots. That's green beans. Those aren't carrots. Bingo. We're sure we're recording here, right? Oh so yes, a there's a red dot. We've been recording for three minutes and 43 seconds. No way! For That's real. three minutes Harlan has had to relax. That's huh? it, three minutes? You're gonna have a shower right now. Harlan in the future is the... If I, to, if I was to shitting. guess, probably actually, <laughs> if I was to guess, what I might do actually, depending on how long this goes, is I might end up uh, stopping this video at some point. Like if, I, if I'm going to the bathroom or something, I might come back and pause it and then finish it off later. But mm. I would guess the majority of this video is going to be covering the time when the boys arrive and we switch set up to the... Hot wings, ones, wing, wing time. Challenge, which you should get a shot of those wings sitting over there pretty. I cleaned the kit, I cleaned the litter, so it doesn't look so We bad. used to have candy all over that one. I was gonna say, it was gonna look really bad in a minute. Those are the hot sauces. Those is them. We're gonna that whole table was entirely covered in candy about 15 minutes ago. Did I eat it all? You'll never know. Who knows? Uh, along with dinner, we're also gonna be prepping some of the things we're gonna be eating tomorrow on stream. So it's gonna be a double whammy. Mm. Um, but first, we're gonna start off by peeling these carrots. How long have 
these steaks been resting so far? Honestly, maybe 10 minutes. We want them out to half an hour, maybe even an hour. Now those salt granules are drawing moisture out of the surface of the steak. Listen to you. That's right. I know that because I used to do that with eggplant. Get the moisture out. The moisture in an eggplant contains a lot of the bitterness. Mm. So when you salt an eggplant, you end up with eggplant that is not bitter. Good to know. I didn't know that. Well, we're doing this for a different reason. We're drying out the moisture. We're going to pat it dry because the less moisture on the surface of a steak, the drier the steak is, the better crust is going to form, mm -hmm. the more delicious the meat. But we're going to peel the carrots right now. There are two types of peelers you might find in your average Joe Harlan kitchen. <laughs> this one and this one. I hate this one. I hate these. <laughs> That's no. right. Don't diss my peeler. I'm not dissing your peeler. I mean, I guess I did call yeah, you. Yeah, you did. Oops, she used the right way. I don't, <laughs> the problem is, your peeler is really good for like, um, everything. No, I was gonna say when you make, what are those things called? When you make your like, vegetarian dishes, when you're using raw vegetables and like spaghetti squash or whatever the heck, you know? No, what are you talking you about? You made, you made me like a poke bowl. Mm-hmm. Remember? Just some carrots. Those are really good when you're like, eating the foods afterwards, because I think they make really even, luxurious, sort of... I used a spiralizer for that. You know what? Then I just hate them. There's no pro. They're all terrible. Here's a question. What's Joe doing at this point? Right now? Maybe? No, in... Well, yeah, right now. Well, <laughs> if... Depends on what time you're going to be playing this video for everybody. Yeah. If it's between the hours of midnight and 7, I'm at work. I will probably be chatting on the Discord if it's quiet at work, or running around like a crazy person, packing coolers full of blood, or maybe I'll be having a nap. Who knows? Joe's a vampire. I am. Um, if it's between the hours of 7 and 8 o'clock a.m., I will be driving here from Toronto up to Ajax. Then if it's between the hours of 8 and... Mm, 8 a.m. and 9 p.m. I'll be here with you. So we'll probably be making out or eating some snacks or I might be in the shower. Who knows? Or we might be in the shower. Oh, ho, ho. 18 plus stream. I do have 18 plus everywhere, so. We're not doing that on stream. I'm allowed to talk about it on stream. <laughs> so we have a lot of games that we're playing. What are you most excited to try with me? Mm. Because you're going to be here for about half of it all together. I'm excited to play We Were Here too yeah. with you. I told you I had two We Were Here games, right? Yeah, we played We Were Here number one together yeah. um, last summer. We had just started dating, right? Yeah, I think it was very nice. Um, that was really fun and a little bit spooky. If That's how Henry says it. A little bit spooky. A bit spooky. Um, I'm also excited for, uh, I have them on my phone. Kentucky you said, Route Zero? You said you were going to play Kentucky Route Zero maybe when I was not here, so that's okay. I was thinking about it, honestly, because it's a very chill game. However, I think if I, because I was kind of like, oh, early morning, might as well do like a nice chill stream. But I'm also thinking maybe I'll fall asleep. So mm -hmm. I think I'm going to jump. I think I'm going to start off the stream with the Outer Wild, uh, Outer Worlds, sorry. Yeah, I want to play Outer Wilds. Yes. Or be there when you're playing it. Yeah. Uh, no, I meant, you know I have two We Were Here games. Yes. Not the first one. Yep. This is two and three. I know. Okay. Just change. Um, sure you know. What are you excited about? Outer Worlds! So, okay. Wait, I... We, got, we got some beautiful peeled carrots here. Yeah. It's funny because I am going to set the oven to 425. <laughs> That's funny. Is it though? That's a funny joke. Uh, no, I was going to say it's you interesting. Look really cute, by the way. Let me just interrupt you here. Harlan is wearing a uh, gap ensemble, I believe. This isn't, this is Joe Fresh. Is it? So the pants are from the Gap. Khakis from the Gap. Or chinos. What's the difference between a khaki and a chino? I don't know. Why are you asking me? I'm the worst person to know that. He's got a burgundy t-shirt and then a little plaid shirt on top, which is very fall weather of you. What did you just do there? You put half of a stick of butter in a saucepan. Yeah, we're going to melt that. So we're going to... Coat these carrots in a little bit of a something. I'm thinking 
Honey? Yes, dear? Butter? <laughs> you were saying what? You were thinking, I was thinking garlic. For me, if I was making a sauce to okay. toss the carrots in, yeah. I think we're out of garlic. No, I thought so. I would do butter, honey, garlic, ginger, balsamic, salt, pepper. That's really intense. That's, I mean, but then That's you're good. cooking it down in the oven. Yeah, as I think well. I'm gonna go you're gonna roast it. Well, babe, it's up to you. You're the you're the man behind the cutting board. I'm the man. I'm just the camera boy. The little camera boy. When we were in the grocery store this morning, it is November 1st, they are playing Christmas music. Tim, I mean, Joe was the only one that heard. I, I said, I don't, I don't, well, I didn't hear it. There absolutely was at least three Christmas songs that I heard. I believe you because I love you. Um, I'd like to ask you some first date, well, first of all, what kind of a sauce are you going to make? You're doing garlic. I'm going to definitely do garlic. butter and garlic because... Butt gar, we'll call it. It's butter and garlic. Uh, and then I'm gonna do some honey for sweetness. I, I, I mean, I was thinking more like, like soy maybe? Soy sauce for that umami salty Ooh, flavor. Umami. Well, okay, ultimately, and this is important because regardless of who is doing this, Joe or myself or you, like you wanna hit all the things. So honey is sweet, mm -hmm. you know, salt is, is, or butter is salty and fatty. Garlic has that, obviously, garlic flavor. Pungent. And then I kind of want something a little bit salty and umami, which is to me soy. Um, and uh, I'm thinking that's it. acid. Well, that's why I was thinking at the end, when it's done, I was going to sprinkle balsamic on them. But you're thinking cookie it's off gonna with be, it. That vinegar okay. is going to be a lot sharper if it's not cooked. Well, that's what I was thinking. It's not too sharp. Okay, fine. So how about this? Honey, garlic, butter, uh, so, uh, okay, balsamic. Do, I know you're not a fan of <laughs> Apple, uh, apple cider vinegar. Would not be against very good. it. That actually would be good. Yeah. Apple cider vinegar instead of balsamic. And we're not gonna give a weird color to the carrots then, too. Well, I like the balsamic because it does get sticky and sort of like I'm not against it. Okay, how about this? Same thing with apple cider. Honey, garlic, butter, balsamic. I'll toss it all. Melt it down. We'll toss the carrots. We'll Rosemary. Fresh herbage. Yeah. Throw down a little RM. Okay, but how about that? An amalgamation of, of both words. I'm super into it. Okay. So, Harlan's cutting up some garlic to put in the butter pan, and I would like to ask you some first date questions. Are you asking me on a first date? No, I already did that. I'm excited. Let's do it. What's something not many people know about you? What's something not many people know about me? Mm -hmm. This would be not many people on the stream as That's well. That's right, yeah. No, obviously... IRL is different than what we're doing this for. Um, and this is like a first date? As in like if I was on... Imagine the, the listeners and watchers and fans of the Invicta stream are collectively taking you out on a first date. And they ask you this question with one many-throated voice. Um, I am sort of a famously... I don't even know if you know this about me, actually. Don't show my chopping skills, they're terrible. But people, this is a cooking show. Not the skills! Okay, sorry. No, I'm just kidding. You're a great chopper, baby. No, I'm really not. Um, when I was a kid, I was obsessed. And this is funny because for people who know me, including yourself, know that I'm not a dog person at all. However, when I was a kid, I was obsessed with the idea of having a dog. So much so that I like ask my parents to buy me a dog many times many christmases and i wanted a golden retriever named buddy and i remember it so clearly because my friend had a dog named uh bo uh bo i think it was was it bo and uh never got a dog my sister asked for a dog for christmas one year and got a dog named julie and i didn't really it kind of bummed me out. And at that point, I wasn't too crazy about having a dog. But for people who know me, they would know that I do not like dogs. However, I would lie if I said for five years I wasn't begging my parents to have a dog named, named Buddy. So despite all my dislike for dogs, I used to want one. 
So that's, I guess it's something that people don't really know about me. Maybe one yeah. day we'll get a dog together and you'll love him and you'll call him buddy. We have a dog together named Louie. I don't know, but I mean, we'll get one. Get a new one? I like the sound of that. Okay. <laughs> no, not, not because of Louie, but. Cute. There. What about you? What's something that people don't know about you? Or is it just up to me to answer the question? I think this is just about you because they can't see me, Fair so. Enough. Okay, what else? I mean, I could answer, but... Do you want to answer? What's something not many people know about me? How about you think about it? Yeah, I'm not very interesting. You're in shut up. Shut up. What was your favorite thing to do as a kid? My favorite thing to do as a kid? Wait, what are you, so how are we cutting these carrots? Oh, we're cutting the carrots now. I'm just cutting off the tops and the bottoms, and then I was going to sort of do one of these. I think I'm going to alternate them. And then I'm just going to sort of cut them like a little bit on the bias, like this. Big hunks of like roast carrot. Yeah, babe. Looks so good. I'm also going to be melting the butter a little bit right now. I'm going to melt the butter, I'm going to throw in the garlic, I'm going to throw in a little bit of honey. Not too much honey because carrots have a lot of sugar and when you roast them, they become very, very sweet. Fun fact. What was your question again? What did you do a lot when I was a kid? What was your favorite thing to do as a kid? Not even what you did a lot. Mmm. Anyone who knows me would know that I loved watching movies. That's not a lie at all. I used to, my dad, he legally download pay-per-view. Um, don't, don't tell anybody. <laughs> I was going to say the FBI are going to show up and... Oh no! But, uh, yeah, he would, uh, he would tape movies off of pay-per-view for some reason. Despite my dad being someone who's not very, like, movie-oriented, and I wasn't like, Dad, we need a new movie or whatever, but, like, it was very much something that... I don't know, for some reason he did, I never thought about it, but anyway. Uh, and we would have tapes and tapes of like, Die Hard 2 and Spaced Invaders and uh, Army of Darkness and um, Robin Hood. Cute. I would watch a lot of movies. We had some old tapes like that, but it was from, my parents rented a reel-to-reel -reel projector from the... 1950s? I think, I think actually we had a projector and he rented like reels of tapes and then filmed them being played on the wall. Wow, so, so super illegal. Yeah. <laughs> so like old school black and white reel to reel movies. That's cute. Yeah, you told me about this because you had like Betty Boop and stuff yeah. that you guys were watching. On like these old homemade tapes. That's funny. Yeah. That's why I'm so racist. Yeah. Well, it's a big part of it. <laughs> Um, I'm still trying to figure out what's something not many people know about me. I mean, it, f as far as the stream goes, not many people know that, um, not many people know a lot of things about me, I think. I don't know, do they? Depends on how, how uh, much they want to research into you, I suppose. <laughs> People can find anything out. Yeah, I went to art school. I That's a, true. I have a Wouldn't degree in did. visual arts. Yeah. I was, uh, I did four years of painting and sculpture and black and white and color photography. Um, so. And yeah, now you use none of it. <laughs> as is the way with a lot of people who go to school right out of high school. They do higher education. Their first degree is mostly just learning about the world and becoming an adult. I went to school first for film and television, mm -hmm. broadcasting. Although now with Dice Shame, it's coming back a little bit. Yeah, you've been you've been doing some good work. We have. Great work. Um, people know all about your favorite book, right? My favorite book? Yeah. Some might not. I have a favorite book. You know it. You want to guess what it is? Me? Yeah. The Road by Cormac McCarthy. That's right. Number one with a bullet. Harlan yeah. read that whole book to me. 
very sweetly. Very romantic. Very kind. I don't know if any of you guys like being read to. You probably do, considering you're a fan of the stream. Um, but Harlan basically recorded that whole book on tape for me. I actually did it twice. I did it one time for Henry, and I did it another time for you. <laughs> so really? I have, yeah, I have two versions of that book. I didn't know that. Yeah. I'm gonna pour this in here. Let's look at what we got. We got butt. We got hun. We got gar. We got balls. Yeah, that's so good. Looks really good. I love the color of those carrots. It's so sexy. Now we're just gonna toss them in here. Drop a piece. What's the fav your favorite restaurant experience that you've ever had? Ooh, good question. That one's right off the dome. Yeah, that's I was Joe Fallow Ridge. Was it really? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. I like. My it. phone's not on right now. Oh, nice. Um, I mean, we've had some pretty fucking great experiences. I'm sort of hoping that it's gonna be one. Oh, it's absolutely one you and me. I mean, I'm just trying to remember because we were in Europe. And we had mm. some amazing, amazing dinners in Europe. Europe was great. I think there's one in Toronto that tops Europe, though. Really? Oh, La Banane. Mm -hmm. La Banane was pretty fucking great. There's this restaurant in Toronto called La Banane that wasn't key already. <laughs> um, where did I get this from? French for the banana. <laughs> oh, is that what it's for? <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, and it was a dinner for my birthday. Your 30th. Yeah, and it was delicious. There was, oh my god, there was like these cheesy mashed potatoes, and uh, Joe had this full fish cooked in like a salt bread, and uh, we had a whole seafood trifecta platter type thing, and then I had this amazing fried chicken. Oh my god, it was such a good dinner. La Banana in Toronto. If you're ever in Toronto, try it. It's expensive, but it's good. The whole thing started with... Oh, pretzels. Pretzels. Oh! Which are my favorite, for anybody who may or may not know. So true. Harlan's and my favorite snack food slash meal. Snack meal? It's a big, salted, fresh pretzel. When we went to Berlin, we every ate day. One every day. Literally every day we had a pretzel because uh, we had to. So funny though. The Very Germans were like, oh, what totally. do you mean you, you have a pretzel, pretzel every day? Yeah. That's, Shit that's not really us. German, but then. Surprise, surprise, literally everywhere you go, they sell pretzels, so. There's something really nice about, uh, I mean, those of you, I mean, I don't know if you're watching this, but if you're in like, you know, New Orleans or something like that, there's something you're totally comfortable with. But for us, we don't have open carry law. Hmm, true say, yeah, you can't. With alcohol, walk, not, not, not guns. You, you can legally be on your own property with alcohol, and you can also be on the property of a place with an alcohol license in specific areas. Like, you can't have alcohol ever in a stairwell. Um, but, but the second you walk off your property onto the sidewalk, that's illegal. And in, so in Germany, we were, we were there, and we're having, it's, you know, you can drink beer in public. And we're, wa we're literally doing a walking tour with my friend who's very well versed. So cute. And uh, we're just like, man, because we've been traveling. We're like, man, I could go for like a beer and a pretzel. Literally, waves a cart down. There he is. There he is. You don't see him? You're fucking crazy. I see him. Get a walk out with a giant fucking pretzel and a beer. We're like, this is, this is heaven. This is Berlin. It's funny though, because my friend, our friend now, they're not that big of a drinker, and she was pregnant. And now they have a baby. <laughs> but uh, it was just funny because uh, that's how uh, different uh, you know they are. They're like, uh, oh, I guess you could have a beer if you want. Where for us, it was like, I'm not a heavy drinker, but I mean, listen, if you're walking through Berlin, you get a fucking beer in your hand. We were walking by some cops too, and Harlan and I were like, look at our beer to these so German like, cops. So childish. Because <laughs> like obviously, it was like who cares. The beer, the, they're, they're like having a beer too, probably. Great, a single beer walking down like a sunny sidewalk in the middle of B Berlin. Yeah, so beer. like innocuous. We're like trying to hide it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that was my favorite nice. restaurant experience. Next question. Oh, hold on. These uh, carrots, I was just, I'm just cooking them a little bit in this garlic, honey, and. Uh, Reducing that liquid a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Honestly, I'm not, I'm not. How long are we going to put them in the oven for, do you think? Oh, it's nice 20 minutes. It's preheated now. Yeah, it is. And I have this, this uh, rosemary, which I'm going to put on top when it's done. In the meantime, I'm going to rinse some of this celery. That's why you rinse your celery. I'm going to chop it up because we're going to have some of this uh, for snack tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I really love celery. It's 
experience. Harlan? Yes? If you were a farm animal, <laughs> which would you be and why? Now, is this a which would you prefer to be, or is this a, like... Let's do both. I think I'd be a pig if I didn't have the preference. No, what would I be? Uh, Pigs are very intelligent animals. Bears aren't farm animals. Correct. Well, Wait, are bears... Depends on what farm. There are farmed bears. Could be like a crazy bear farm. Russia has bear farms. Oh my god, can I be a Russian bear farmer? No. Can I be from Russia? With love? Um... What would you like to be? Part of me wanted to say horse, but I feel like, you know, horses are... It's gotta be an animal that's not gonna be killed. So, you know, gotta make sure that I'm safe with, uh, Good luck. with who I'm going. Uh, oh yeah, probably a horse. Horse yeah. sounds pretty nice. I can see that. What do you think? What are you gonna be? Me? Yeah. Dog. That's not a farm animal. Are you fucking with me? That's a life animal. Every farm has like five dogs. Yeah, but I feel like that then it doesn't, the farm, I think the question has to be farm specific because then I can say what host animal do you want to be? You're like a cat or a dog still works, you know? I feel like there's got to be some sort of has to be on, can't be at a home. Like you wouldn't have a, ho a horse at home or a pig at home. I mean, there's got to be something. You can totally specific. have a pig at home. Fine. You can do you. What else? Uh, yeah. I might be. Mm, man. Tough. I want to be something cute. Why? Because. Just because you want to be cute. I want to be a duckling. Oh, that's pretty cute. But duck breast is quite delicious. Well, you don't eat a baby duck's breast. No. Teeny, teeny, tiny Next duck question. breast. Next question. Next question. My phone is going to run out of battery. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> what is your favorite letter of the alphabet? And why? Oh, good question. Do you have one? A favorite letter? I mean, I am partial to H because Henry and me, but mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, I like R a little bit. What are you zooming in at? The H mugs? Yeah, I like it. I don't know. You got a couple of them. Yeah, I mean, I'd be lying if I said I, I didn't like H, but uh, like J. Um, no, I've always been you're partial. You're just sucking up. No, I've always been partial to R, S. Yeah, R and S, I do. I like E and S. E and S? He's yeah. nice too. That was a weird question. I know. What a stupid fucking note. Shut the fuck up. That's good, that's good. If you had the chance to eat dessert for breakfast every day, what dessert would you choose? Oh man, again, is this like a healthy or like a pretzel? No, dude. Cheesecake. This, yeah? <gasps> cheesecake. Can I have a cheesecake? Oh yeah, let's do that. Next question. What do you like most about yourself? Hmm. What do I like most about myself? Mm -hmm. That's a loaded question. You said pour this all into a tray now. Nice. Let's get this out into a tray. Nice. There's not a lot of them, because it's just two of us. There's still quite a few carrots. Yeah. I mean, to say for people who are like, that's not many carrots. It's enough for us to both eat a lot at dinner and one leftover meal for me. Yeah. Probably should drink the liquid though, eh? That's just no. gonna burn. Sorry about it. I think it's gonna burn. Oh well. Um What's the question? What do you like most about yourself? Um, I like that I I don't know, I've always been someone, oh, I forgot the rosemary. I've always been someone who I feel pretty confident in like getting things done. I think I'm a good, uh, sounds a bit egotistical, but I think I'm a good leader. It's an egotistical question. I just e mean to say egotistical. that. Egotistical. Egotistical question. I'm gonna take off some of this liquid because I think it's gonna burn. I just mean to say that I think I'm somebody who, um, 
I'm a good manager, I think. I'm a good leader. I've never really felt super uncomfortable with what to do in, in certain situations. And even within that, when I am unsure, I've always been comfortable to ask for help. So I think I'm pretty, I'm, I think I'm a good leader. You're a get it done kind of guy? I'm a what? You're a get it done kind of guy? To an extent, yeah. I think even, it's funny because I think even some of our friends are real kind of go get them type people. But I think even them, comparatively, I'm definitely someone who can approach a situation and kind of think about something and impress even people who have experience with doing something and been like, oh, okay, fair enough. For the viewers at home, this kitchen's beginning to smell marvelous. Yes, Neo. I also just want to prep some of these berries. What's your favorite thing about me? Oh, come now. <laughs> What's you have to pick favorite? one. What's that? You have to pick one thing. Man, that's tough. Can it be something naughty? Just kidding. Um, I think your empathy, probably. Yeah. You have, well, you make me softer in a good way. I think you make me be like, hey, you know, sometimes I, you know, I can be angry, and I think you do an amazing job of like, sort of being like, hey, it's okay. Like, it's not the end of the world. Like, relax, type thing. Or you care about something that I didn't really care about. You know, we'll watch a scene in like a movie and I'm like, ugh, and you're like, <gasps> and I'm like, yeah, I guess that is sad. <laughs> then you kind of make me feel a little bit. That's very sweet, thing. Well, that's true. All right, what else? Let's not make this too lovey. I want oh. people to Everyone like not get sick. No, people aren't sick. If you had $100, what would you spend it on? Right now? Yeah, if you had one hundo burning a hole right in the I would donate it to Extra Life. Uh, Link in the description of the video. What else would you do, though? What if you couldn't donate it to Extra Life? What if, it's, if it was funny money guaranteed? Buy pizza. <laughs> $100 worth of pizza? Pizza is always a good idea. I mean... That's Jack not Lantern good. pizza? There are times it's not a good idea. Tell us... Tell us... <laughs> Tell us stream about the Jack Lantern pizza. Well, if you follow me on Instagram at the Harlan Guthrie, you can see a picture of it. But I took a lovely. We splurged on Halloween and bought pizzas, and I got no, an amazing. No, it was Jack the Lantern. night before Halloween. Well, it was the night before Halloween. What are you doing now? I am uh, sorry. It's a good idea. Ooh. I'm leaving the burner on, which I forgot. That's okay. It will work itself out. <laughs> This is what happens when you do it live! Live from Ajax. It's Friday night! <laughs> Stream. Um, I'm boiling some water because we're just going to blanch these green beans a smidgen. I don't think they need to be trimmed. They look pre-trimmed. Uh, no. Yeah, look. Oh, it's cut. Yeah. So that's one step we don't have to do. I've also rinsed these berries because I want to get a few berry boxes ready. As we Red said, for strawberry. Harlan is prepping the snacks for the stream and some of my food for the next two nights. I will be on shift from 11 p.m. until 7 a.m. at the hospital this weekend. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Bummer, 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 and scene. Did I ask you a question? I don't remember. Oh, if you had $100, you said pizza. Yeah, pizza. What about you? If I had $100 right now, Besides donating it to Extra Life. Besides donating it to Extra Life, I would probably buy some clothes. What? Really? Yeah. You got great clothes. I'd probably buy some replacement underwear. <laughs> I'd probably what are you buy. Filming right I'm fine, filming oh. you chopping. Um, mostly, I don't know. I would buy some tights and some like a dress maybe. Yeah, I buy some clothes. Not terribly exciting, but. Hundred dollars doesn't get you that many clothes. I know, dude. Believe me. I'm wearing my comfy uh, uniform right now, which is like black tank top, black leggings, black hoodie. I'm wearing my red. Red comfy uniform. Just red. When we're hanging out around the house, Harlan looks like a strawberry and I look like a ninja. Yeah, because you don't like to be seen. That's right. Don't look at me. Um, what's the biggest risk you've ever taken? Ooh, interesting question. Biggest risk. 
That's what I said. I don't know, this makes me sad because I don't think I'm that risky of a person. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know how heavy we want to get, but there was a time when uh, going on a date with you after, <laughs> after, your divorce. after my divorce, which was some people claim to be pretty soon, I don't blame them, but also you were a very cool person and still are. And I was like, well, it was risky. It was something that like, you know, I was like, well, it's, it's probably going to look bad, but so that I was think, a pretty risk. Yeah. It's a good risk. So I don't regret anything of it, of course, but I'd say that was one. That's fair. It's true. As my brother would say, bad optics. Bad optics? That's what he saying. told me when I was like, I'm going to ask Carla now. He was like, yeah, that doesn't look good. It's like, yeah. well, fuck that. Now we're here. That's fair. No regrets. Mm. If someone gave you an envelope with your death date inside of it, would you open it? Yeah? Yeah? Who wouldn't? Really? Yeah? I don't know, man. Really? I don't know. I have to think about it a lot. I 100 would. No doubt. No, no thinking. Would you Shoot tell, first, think would never. Would you tell people? Depends on when it is. Yeah. If it's like, you know, 2030. Wait, that's only 20 years from now. Yeah, if I would. I don't know. It would change the way I live, for sure. The interesting thing is, would the, would, would the uh, information knowing cause your death sooner? You know, it's like, would, I mean, that would have to be tied into it. If, like, you finding out when you die must be instrumental to some degree. Well, of you know. course, you couldn't then hire yourself out to the Canadian Army and be like, listen, I know I'm not going to die for 30 years, so I'm going to be an invincible soldier Ooh, for you. you know? Now, cool twist. To yes, know you that could you do that. could not die before that date means oh, that you're invincible, essentially. I like that. That's awesome. Yeah, let's do that shit. <laughs> I mean, right? Do you know anyone who is living their life to the fullest? No. I mean, the, either, the, the answer to that is either yes, everybody, or nobody. Because I think yes, few people, and one of them is your son, Henry. Oh. You bullshit. know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. He totally is. Of course, for now. <laughs> Wait till he learns about taxes. You know? Yep. I know. Dabby oh, steak some a little bit. Steak dab time. Get some of this liquid off. Flip them over. Harlan. Yes. What's your idea of the perfect day? Lou Reed's 1974. No. Um, perfect day. For anyone commenting that these steaks are a bit dark, they were on sale. They look fine. Yeah, but you know. I'm excited. I am. Um. What's my perfect day? Yep. I mean, that's so tough. You know me, I'm such a, like a, really depends on the weather type person. But I could see my perfect day being, I, I think no matter what, it's gotta be you, me, and Hen. Aww. Oh, for sure, are you kidding? There's no doubt. You, me, you, me, and Mr. Hen. You want a strawberry? Yes, please. Strawberry break. Mmm, <laughs> they're so good. Mm -hmm. Late season, fucking baller. Good straws. Good straws. Nice. I don't look at this fridge. It's so messy. Sorry. Let's look at the steak for a minute. Well, it's our our fridge. You don't. I mean, you that's why I apologized. Yeah. I mean, you don't be embarrassed. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh, I didn't realize you left these in front of me. That was a mistake. <laughs> and you don't want me to wash the raspberries, so. Mm -mm. I don't know, man. Perfect day. Honestly, on October, I can't remember, on, on a Sunday, whichever day that was. Look at that picture of pineapple head. How can you love that boy? Uh, that was a perfect day. We woke up, had <laughs> pancake breakfast. Pumpkin fest. Pumpkin pancake breakfast. We, uh, went to the... I went to the gym while you guys made... Candy apples. We made candy apples from scratch, which was amazing. We went to uh, Pumpkin Fest. We came home, we carved pumpkins, and then we had a spooky afternoon meal. Then we watched uh, Space Invaders, half of it at least, together. And then you and I, I'm sure, got um, something more adult. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, that was a perfect day. I mean, honestly, I had perfect days. That's a tough thing. That's not tough at all. That's wonderful. No, I just mean to say, like, it's tough to say, well, you know, what was your perfect day when I, I could just say, well, Tuesday. What really a wonderful best. life, though, that, that we get to say that that's the truth. Right? Lucky. How are those um, carrots looking? Uh, I'm going to check them in a minute. We're probably at 10 minutes in, so they're about 10 minutes out. I'm just gonna We're at 40 minutes of cook time. Really? I mean, of film, time. film time. I was going very slow. I wouldn't... I mean, the beans don't take a long time. Nope. I wouldn't necessarily do them until the, cook, the steak's on. Well, I'm going to blanch them, drain them, and then I'm going to just leave them drained oh, until okay. I toss them to that something makes sense. else. This is another... So this is tomorrow's snack. I'm going to do my... My homemade tuna recipe. What do you put in your tuna? So you're gonna get two in one. I make tuna in a different way than most people. But first, this is just about to boil, so I'm gonna toss those beans in a second. Carrots are looking lovely. Uh, these I'm just gonna rinse tonight. Probably. Yeah. I'm gonna take some to work with me. Yeah. So my. Special recipe. Wait, is that relish? Yeah, it is. I just used it. Where is it? Oh, it's hidden in the back. My secret tuna recipe is a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, which, because we're doing three cans, I'm going to do a fair amount for umami. Fresh ground black pepper. Fresh pep. Nice, good, big pinch or two of salt. Harlan is generous in many ways, and one of them is with the salt. Relish. So this is one of the, the sidebars. This is one of the wild cards, I should say. Um, oh, that's a lot there. Yep. Yeah. So the thing is, a lot of tuna salad doesn't have uh, anything sweet in it. I like a little bit of sweet. So I put some, uh, whatchamacallit in, relish. And that's the way my mama did it, that's the way I did it. Oops, and then we just see for consistency. Consistency is an opinion thing. I know you like it a bit drier. I like it a bit wetter. I also prefer onions and celery, celery. To, to relish. Celery is like the classic. But to me, I don't know, I like it sweet. And I, I think it's, it's important to, to try things the way that your partner likes them and, you know, share. Sometimes we do tuna my way, sometimes we do tuna Holland's way. Sometimes we do it Henry way. Which is no tuna, only pasta. Half the dinner now. So, we're gonna blanch those green beans a little bit. Get your strainer, colander, what's this called? We'll call it colander. Is it a colander? I think that's the interchangeable word. Probably. What talent do you wish you had? Oh, man. Honestly, it sucks because I know exactly what talent I wish I would have. The minute I say it, people are going to be like, that's not a talent. You can just do that with enough effort, but I'm too lazy. That's the thing. I would love to be multilingual. Mm. Like, like many languages. Like, I would love to be able to speak like a bi language. That's, I think that's very difficult because you really need to start that young. Not only that, I think... It's a different part of the brain. I think I have a that kind of creative side, maybe. But like, you know, it's it's the study part of your brain that needs to learn languages too. Like that part where you like to read books and like to tackle subjects and I don't have that side of my brain. I'm mentally lazy, as my dad would say. Fuck your dad. <laughs> yeah, but not literally. Um, so I recognize that I don't really have that capacity, but I would very much love to be able to speak <laughs> many languages. What talent do you have that you're most proud of? Ooh. I 
don't know. Um, I like, I mean, I'm musical. What talent do I have that I'm most proud of? A little bit more. Sorry. How are those beans at? Good, they're looking nice and green. Give me another minute. Was that your way of saying take them off? A little bit? <laughs> no? You just slow zooming? Just slow zoom. You think they're ready? Is that what you're telling me? I don't know, I can't see them from here. I was trying to look, but I can't tell. I'm stationary right nice now. Nice and green. Yeah, you have the easy job. Um, this has been difficult. My hand is numbing. I'd say, yeah, I'd say music I'm proud of. Chihuahua. I'm also proud of... Uh, Your writing talent is extraordinary. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Well, it's, it's not something I'm proud of. And I would say that I'm also proud of my ability to read people. I think I have a good job at reading people. So funny because when we were playing that uh, game that you wrote for Justin's birthday, yeah, the moment I flipped a coin and I figured out whether I was the witch or not, you turned to me and you're like, "So are you the witch?" And I was like, "No, That's you're lying." <laughs> right away, I was I like, knew. "Fuck you." She stayed with it though. I think by by the end you weren't quite sure, but oh, I mean, I was playing a role where you weren't supposed, to, where you were meant to be, whatever. You were surprised, though, in the end. No. You were like, oh, really? Yeah, I mean, I was surprised, but purely because Justin was so confident the other way. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm glad anyway, that I you beat you. you can read me. Like a book. I can read. I, I think I have a good ear for a lot of people, including our friends. Justin, Chris, you, you know. You said Justin like it was spelled an A. What? Justin. Justin. Justin! Green beans are drained. Yeah. So they just need to be tossed in. Carrots are looking you sticky and good. Flip them at all, or just let them go? I mean, I'm not really a huge supporter of flipping. What? A lot of people are like, flip, flip, flip. I'm like, when you flip, especially unless you turn every piece individually with tongs, 90% of them, not 90%, like 40% are always on the same side anyway. Wow. That's a fake statistic. No. That's not true. It was very Alex who I said that. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, but we are we are getting close to D Day. Tea time. Did I salt these already? I think it Oh yeah. You want really salty steak. That's the way to do it. Don't need this anymore. Tell me a fun fact about yourself. It has to be fun, it has to be a fact. Fun fact, there was a time that red was not my favorite color. I don't remember what it was. I think blue. Fun fact, my best friend growing up, his name was Tommy. Uh, here's a fun fact that most of the stream knows, and in fact you know, but I still think it's a fun fact. I have a fear of warthog people. Pig people, yeah. Pig people. Uh, do you know why? Because of Willow, the movie. It's a combo. It's not just Willow, the movie. I had a nightmare after that movie. Did I tell you that? You I didn't was... tell me that. You told the stream that, and I was watching the stream. Well, I, so I had this nightmare. This, this, it was this terrible dream where I remember walking outside of my old house backyard, and in front of me were Alex and my cousin Megan, who you now know, and my other cousin Courtney. And I was talking to them, and they were ignoring me. I was like, guys, guys, guys. And they're just like pretending I wasn't there. And I saw in the bushes this warthog person, and they're like, <gasps> and I was like, oh, and I tried to warn them, but they weren't listening to me. And I ran, and I ran to the end of my my deck, and there was these big stairs down, and I jumped down. I remember jumping down and breaking my leg. I remember turning around and seeing this pig person jump off the top and land on top of me, and it ended very creepily like that. We ready to cook the steak? I think so. You want to come over here to look at it? Should I? Close up? Yeah. And then I'm thinking I'm gonna cook the beans afterwards because the steak's gonna have to rest. Cause they get tired. Yeah, they get tired. I'm attached to the wall. Yeah, that's that's okay. okay. That's a perfect angle. How does that look? Looks great. Good. All right. How to cook? Oh. She's getting real. Uni. Tongs. T O N G S. 
And a spoon. S P O O N. And a spell. S P E. I don't see my non slotted spoon. Well, let's just do it with a regular spoon. You don't have it in the thingy? I was looking for it. Oh, okay. it's in the dishwasher. Problem. That's okay. Here we go, our beautiful steaks. We're gonna dab them one last time, make sure they're nice and dry. It's gonna go quick. Tippy tappy, tippy tappy. You got that on the highest heat? Yeah. Harlan, is you that too hot? Never. You want it to be smoking. So these have been resting at this point for like, what, an hour? Mm-hmm. So that's good. They're nice and warm. Nice and room temperature. You want a nice warm steak. You want a room temperature. You know what, get that raw meat, leave it out all day. These are aged 21 days, for some reason. I noticed it when I was taking them out of the package. Ajed. Ajed? This is just aged with a stupid accent. Oh, it was not a stupid accent. Mm. Um, yeah. So we want to get this hot enough so that it's smoking. Hot blood. That's all I got to say. And you could throw a sprig of rosemary in here uh, and some garlic, which would be really nice. I think we're just gonna keep it plain. What do you think? Yeah, let's just yeah. do it. Just do it up! You got a little Jennifer Aniston going on. Why? You can see your nipples. Do you notice in Friends, like, constantly, their nips are just out? I heard that was, like, a thing. That the girls did, they would ice their nipples before going on because, uh, it, like, meant better views or something like that. It's but so I would stupid. more guess, but I would more guess that uh, stage lights are so unbelievably hot, they probably had to have the AC cranked all the time. That's my guess. Mm, maybe. Anyone's ever been in like a production or near stage lights? No, that they are fires constantly. And everything has to be well lit on a TV show. So, so let's start watching. Okay, it's smoking a little bit. Ooh, I can see it on camera. Sounds gonna be a little tough for a second. Sorry guys. So we got olive oil, we got vegetable oil. Uh, maybe peanut oil. It's not. Vegetable oil, we want to use the vegetable oil. Get a little bit of oil in there. That oil. There we go. Two minutes aside. And then we've got the timer behind you. Wash your hands, touch, 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 touch. While that's happening, take a look at those squishy carrots. They're looking good. I think I'm going to turn off the oven. Strike a Vogue. Did you just want a Vogue for a while? Vogue. This is going to be our pre-extra life meal. So, you know. It's going to be full of energy. It's going to give us the energy that we need to make money for children's hospitals. Hey, if you're watching this. Donate. Donate. If you've got $5 in your wallet that you feel comfortable sending to us, please do. If you've got $5 in your wallet, donate to us. You found it. <laughs> I was on you. Extra Life is a really great cause. It's All the, the money goes to Children's Hospital in North America. I believe it's North America? Or is other... Children's Miracle Network of Hospitals. I think we selected North America. I don't know. Children's Miracle Network of Hospitals. Now we're going to turn the heat down. Not low, medium. I would turn the fan on, but then the sound is going to be killed. And we'll just I'm live in worried. a smoky house. Yeah. I might open the window a little bit. Yeah, let's open that window. How's that timer looking? Oh! That's what it's to say. That's two minutes, My guess is two minutes. I have a good internal timer. Yeah, you do. Let's take a look at that. Setting it again. Ooh. Look at that crust. Look at that crust of yours. Not bad, babe. You need some basting? Yeah, so now the heat is down. We're gonna take that. Start off with that. And all we're gonna do 
Normally I have a much bigger spoon to do this, but I decided not to do the dishes. Butter basted steak, y'all. Tougher to do with this spoon. My mouth is watering so much. Yeah. Get some good glamour shots. Hello, welcome to my steak. And let's take a look, see on the other side. Yeah, see, this is the problem with the ribeyes, they kind of bounce up a little bit, so the underside doesn't get as well done, but that's okay. That's the bottom part anyway. Yeah. Let's just do it like this. Yeah. I think they do. Yeah. Smoky kitchens are us. I'm going to do the ugly side for now because what I'm going to do... Okay. Sorry. Thanks. Let me take that last bit of butter. Ooh. Listen to this. Hiss, sizzle, hiss. Now what Now what happens to the steak? Now it rests. Na, 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 you gotta let your na, meat na, rest. Na. And while that's resting, we're gonna throw these beans back on. With the last little bitty of butter. Any questions you got for me? Yeah, let's ask another cue. What's the strangest gift you've ever received, not from your ex-wife? I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm thinking from the fans, maybe? Yeah. I totally get the context. And I love it. But admittedly, the turkey feathers from Aish and Bob were, are, they are. I didn't know those were for them. Yeah. The they one that's are on top of the painting upstairs? What's that? The one that's on top of the painting upstairs? Yeah. yeah. They are unarguably the we like weird. Like I get it in context, but What what's the context? Um <laughs> But they do have a uh, a thing, I'm not gonna do that. Where they uh they wrote a whole thing out for it. Wait for me on the spot. Sorry. That's okay, she won't watch this. Uh what do you want to put on the beans? <laughs> Oh, a little lemon, salt. Yeah, I'll take them on after. Salt. Lemon and salt. In. That's butter. it? Yeah, and some butter to finish it off. I already put butter in there. Bingo. Bingo, bango. Um, if you could have picked your own name. What? If you could have picked your own name. Oh, no, I gotta be Harlow. Yeah? You don't wanna be Ashley? Ashley, Joanna, Guthrie? No, I love Ashley, but it's me, baby, me. I gotta be me. Gotta be true to myself. Always roll your citrus before cutting it, if you wanna juice it. This is the ugly side, I'm gonna put them over. You ready? Let's see it. We should close that door so our steaks don't get terribly cold. Oh, that looks so good. Look at those beefy boys. I think we're just about done. Yep. We're at 59 minutes, 25 seconds. That's like almost an hour. So we got that. Finish it off with some lemon. Beautiful green color, love it. Take them off the heat, despite the heat being off. Take our carrots out. And a little bit of that. Oh, hell yeah. This looks Dirty. sick. Yeah. 
Yeah. You gonna do a plate for us? Yeah. Kidding? This is Beauty's best. Yum. A little bit of color on them. Yeah, babe. Gotta get that color. Gotta get the color. Oh, looks so good. They say you should always have a green thing and an orange thing every day in your meal. It's literally what they say. Look at that. There we go. Dinner a uh, l'extra life. And uh, I guess that's it. I hope you enjoyed this un edited, uncut glimpse into We Make Shit. Oh. If you are uh, watching this on Extra Life, which I hope you are, please consider donating today. Any money helps, and uh, it means a lot to us. Without further ado, oops. Let's throw it back to Harlan and the live stream. Uh, back to you, Harlan. Have a great night. <laughs>